so welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a, another one of my empties videos. This I think is my third one I've ever done. I've got this massive bag full of empties. So I thought why not let's just get into it and just do it. Because um, I don't like leaving the empties here for like a long period of time. I just like to get them out. So yeah, I don't know when my last empties video was, but it was probably the end of last year or something like that. So these I've had for a little while. So let's get straight into this video because I don't want it to be too long. If you guys do like empties videos, then just give this video a thumbs up or leave me a comment in the just comments below and I can surely do more, more of them but I'm not sure if these are videos that you guys like to watch um I know I like to watch them I just like to know what people are using and what they love so let's get straight into this and there's going to be no order to this like normal the first thing I pulled out is this L'Oreal color protecting shampoo I love this I use it all the time it keeps my hair nice and soft and I don't lose the color out of my hair quite like often. Next thing is this Garnier Marcella water and I have used this up completely. I love this and I think I'm like halfway through my other one so yes I love it. I use it to cleanse my face in the morning because I don't like to wet it because I like my hair to be nice and I wash my hair at night time and so I just grab a cotton pad and just I clean off any dirt that has formed overnight. The next thing in here is these Nivea day and night creams. Now I use these up so much I like don't even leave anything in them. I love them that much. Um, I use the normal to combinate co normal and combination skin ones because I am normal combination so yeah I love them I've been using them for so many years and I cannot get enough of it I love it it's like the best day and night cream that I have ever used and it is like $13 I think per pot so and you get quite a good amount of uses out of it um next thing in here is my deodorant this is the Rexona invisible dry black and white it's good it just I didn't like it as much as I like the one I'm using now which is the classic one next thing is my Vaseline moisturizer this is the intensive care deep restore one I love these these are my favorite moisturizers ever they just have so much moisture in them and they settle into the skin and it's amazing so now the next thing here is a mask. This is a Freeman brand and it is a the avocado and oatmeal clay mask. And it is for deep cleans and purifies pores. Um, I didn't like this. Really didn't like this. I still have some in it, but I've my I was really happy. My um, dad bought me so many of the Glam Glow masks. And I was like, you know what, let's use those. I won't use this anymore and I'll just check it out. Next thing here is the Senna, Senta Fill, Senta Fill, um, Gentle Skin Cleanser. Um, this is just like a normal cleanser. It, I didn't really like it. I used it basically just to take off my makeup as like one coat and then I would use another cleanser and then I would use my everyday cleanser so it used to be like a huge thing to get this all off I don't like this um, it didn't really do anything so yeah it's not really that great here is another one of the Vaseline intensive care restore moisturizers these are 400 mils each so in here I have makeup because I did a huge declutter of my makeup and these are the things that were finished. This is the TK's lashes and it dried up on me so I 
it finished. I've got a Maybelline Master Precise eyeliner. Didn't like it. I don't really use eyeliner. And then I've got three mascaras. These two are coloured and this one is just a normal one. Not the biggest fan. This on the other hand, best thing invented. It is the Essence Lash and Brow Gel Mascara and I use it to set my brows. Here's another liquid um, eye eyeliner in a pencil form. I hated it. Dried up like that. Here we have the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. It went off. But it is... One, it's like the best concealer for spots. Crappy underneath the eyes though. And then I have... I have three lipsticks. Two Chi Chi and one Bite. And yeah, I finished those ones. They're lipsticks, you can't really say anything about them. Then I've got the NARS Black Valley Paint Pot. It dried up completely. And um, yeah, it's not bad. It's just not something I would use as like an eyeliner. It's more of a paint pot sort of thing. Next I have the Chanel Vitalumi Aqua Foundation. Holy Grail foundation. I love it to death. Then I've got my two lip products. I've got the Lucas Purple Ointment and the Vaseline. Um, I love them both. They're both amazing. They sort of do the same, they do the same job for my lips. I am using, currently using the Vaseline one because the Lucas Purple is a lot more expensive. Next I have some Origin Day and Night Cream. This is good stuff. It just is not worth the price I paid for it. And I like completely cleaned it out. So yeah. But it's just not worth the price I paid. Whereas the Nivea one is worth the price I paid. The cleanser on the other hand, which I have, I'm still using. I've still about this much in it, so it's quite a lot left. Um, but that is worth it. It's like $120 though, so I'm not sure if I'll repurchase that one, but I will not be repurchasing these. They're just not worth it. Then I've got some more Origin stuff. I've got an eye gel and a firming serum. So not worth it. Um, I'm currently using a different serum, which I'm loving, and a different eye cream, which I am obsessed with. So none of these Origin things are worth the price I paid. But still, they, they do basically the same thing as what my cheaper stuff does. So what's the point? Okay, I've got some more makeup. I've got a still a one step correct primer. Love this thing. It is the best color correcting primer ever. And then I've got the Maybelline Fit Me foundation. Not that impressed with it. I did finish it up completely because I wanted to finish it up completely. But um, it's not the best foundation I've ever found. So, And it doesn't last as long as I would like it to. Next thing here I have the Kim Kardashian Gold body lotion and cream body wash. They're just your normal stuff they, and they smell. So it's your normal body lotion. It, it doesn't absorb into the skin as quickly as I would like but it's still okay. And then the cream body wash is a body wash. I don't know. Next I have this blemish cleaning thing. I've had it for ages and I only just finished it. It's an Avon brand, um, not worth it. Next I have some body washes. This one is a original source shower gel and it's in the scent mango. I think it's gone moldy. Um, that was great. It, they, I love this brand. It's like the best shower gel brand ever and they don't test on animals and they are vegan. So it's amazing. And then this one is a Pemolive Body Butter Coconut Scrub. It's not the best. Um, it was a scrub. It, it was nice. I've got a, another Lucas Purple ointment. Three toothpaste. This one is my favourite. The Colgate Optic White. Um, and then I've got an OB Brilliant Mint and a Colgate Mint Strip. They're toothpaste. What can you say? Okay. And then I've got some fragrances that I completely used up. I didn't really like any of them. Um, I don't fall in love with fragrances really easily. They, I don't think, fra see fragrances don't stay on me. They don't 
yeah, I like fragrances, but they just... I have to find the perfect fragrance, and these ones are just cheap brands that I just use every single day. Then I've got some more makeup brands, or makeup products. I've got the Anastasia Brow Wiz. This was actually quite good. I did lose the end of it at one point, but it did its job. But the, the next one is the exact same, and it's a lot cheaper, so it's more worth it. Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer. Love this. I want it to come to Australia so I can go buy another one. I have, I bought two at the time, so I still have one and I'm using it currently, but I need more. Then I've got the L'Oreal Miss Manga Mascara. It's a mascara. Better than the other mascaras, but not my favorite. Covergirl Outlast Stay Fabulous Foundation. Love it. It is like one of my favorite foundations. I have not repurchased it yet because I have a lot of foundations, but I probably will repurchase it. And it's more, it's on the cheaper side if you're not paying, if you, um, if you pay full price, it's like $20. So it's really good. Okay, then I've got some deodorants. Um, neither of them I really liked all that much. I don't, didn't finish this. It just ended up being too old. And this one, I don't like it as much as my one I have now. Like which is the classic one. It's a Rexona one. Then I've got a eye makeup remover. Didn't like it. Um, Manu Man Manuka Honey Blemish Cream. Didn't work. Hated it. It didn't work at all. Australis Makeup Finishing Mist. Didn't work. A Beauty Blender. It went moldy. So we had to throw it out. Josie Maron 100% Pure Argan Oil. This I actually really liked. And... I used it sort of as a serum, so yeah. And it actually was quite really good actually. I might I have like pure argan oil for my hair, which I got in Europe, which I don't use that much because I like to just hop in the shower, not have to do everything. That is all of my empties. Um so yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. I try to just say the if I like it or not, just so these videos aren't too long and they don't go on for like 20-30 minutes which I think this one has gone on for like 20 minutes but I should be able to edit it down a bit but yeah I hope you guys enjoy my empties videos if you guys want to see more empties videos then just leave me a comment in the comments and I can surely just keep my empties more and more but these are my empties from the since the last one I did so I hope you guys enjoy this video and if you did, please give it a big thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel because it means so much to me when you guys do. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks guys.